Okay, we will call the meeting to order and have roll call, please. Dye. Here. Walker absent. Frisbee? Yes. Maycumber? Here. Winnering? Here. Thank you. Agenda item two, the reading of the district mission statement. Our mission is to engage, inspire, and empower students and staff in order to maximize learning. Agenda item three is the approval of the agenda. Do we have any changes or corrections, Dr. Cox? No changes. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded to approve the agenda as presented. Roll call vote, please. Risby? Yes. Maycomber? Yes. Wintering? Yes. Dyke? Yes, motion carried four to zero. Agenda item four, welcome the visitors and have public comment. Anyone care to have public comment this evening? Hearing none, we'll move on to agenda item five. Comments by board members and superintendent. Had a great start to the new year. What do we got going on, Dr. Cox? Well, we have 19 new teachers in the school district, and there are also two staff hired by the Iowa School for the Deaf who are assigned to work here in Charles City to have a grand total of 21 new people uh, here. Starting today, we are posting a short video at our Facebook page about each of our newest comments. Uh, so we encourage the public to log into Facebook or to our district website and learn a little more about our new staff. A reminder that if there are parents or community members who are interested in serving on our School Improvement Advisory Committee, please get your applications uh, sent to me by Thursday, and all of the details are at our website. And a reminder that there are no more Wednesday late starts. So on Wednesday, school starts at 820, <laughs> just like it does on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. We might have to have a, a, a message sent out for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we've got some reminders set to go on Tuesday. Oh, good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. You ask, we we'll tweet, we'll Facebook, and if somebody wants to take care of a message. <laughs> Any comments by board members this evening? Well, yes, I wanted to compliment that video um, that Justin had done for the 19 new teachers. It was really well done, um, and as Dr. Cox had said, everybody can see that on Facebook. It was really energetic and a great welcome, as well as you know the, the new teacher breakfast and then um, the back to school breakfast that Scott, uh, Robin, and I all had attended uh, was so well done. And, and I, I think I tweeted out later that morning that it was by far the most um, inspiring and engaging and, and exciting start to the school year in so many ways and uh, it was just over the top when I think of how our back to school breakfasts have been had been once upon a time and it was all very business like and so forth but but now it's just um, it's just so empowering the way we're doing it now getting everybody involved and and really making it a, a nice kickoff Mm -hmm. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy. The energy was yeah. um, incredible because yeah. this would be my fourth and I would have to say the energy in this one um, pales even in comp if you put the energy of the last three together, this one, the energy level was just... I think, um, I think you know, we, we changed the mission statement and, and so forth, you know, a couple of years ago and, and you really see that carrying all the way through even to that welcome breakfast, um, compliments of First Security Bank, of course. There you go. And, and the opening ceremony that we had after the breakfast. Yes, yes. Is, is part that, of what you're referring that to. That is what I'm talking yeah. about, is, okay. is that program. Thank you. Any other board comments? Did help out um, Saturday morning with the 5K run for the elementaries. Glad to see all of those people out there running and some walking and uh, one couple even had their dog with them on the route. So uh, that was nice to chat with people as they walked by my corner that I was helping direct traffic on. And, and then after that they had their back to school bash up at Washington and didn't get to stick around for that. But from what I've seen and heard that was a really good turnout and a, and a fun time probably should have gone up and checked out the uh, bubble machine, but didn't make it there this year, hopefully next year. 
Um, also, cross country has started and football has started mm -hmm. and I see the drama club has uh, and speech have been electing officers and they're preparing for uh, their fall musical so it'll, it'll be an interesting fall as things progress and we also want to make sure that we uh, give a shout out to our substitute cameraman this evening. Thank you, Jonah. <laughs> If there's no other comments, we'll move on to agenda item six, appointment of student board member. Dr. Cox had received one application. We had one applicant, and this is a challenge for the students who are very active in the uh, clubs and organizations that you just referenced to be able to attend two board meetings a month. And uh, Fallon Connect was the applicant for the student board member position. You'll probably recognize her name. She served on the School Improvement Advisory Committee last year. She also was on the 21st Century Schools Task Force, and she's excited to potentially join you as a student board member this year. Yes. I'd like to move to approve Fallon Connect as a student board member for 2017 and 18. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to appoint Fallon Connect as a student board member for 1718. And she would um, be at the next board meeting, the first meeting in September, then. She would be installed at the first installed. regular meeting, correct. And then serve through the last regular meeting in May. Okay. Any other discussion by board members? No, all I can say is she's just been a very nice young lady to work with on SIAC and, and you know, I think that this committee will, will be of great benefit to her. Not committee, the appointment. Oh, the appointment to the board, yes. Uh, roll call vote, please. Maycumber? Yes. Winnery? Yes. Crispy? Yes. Dyke? Yes. Motion carried four to zero. Agenda item seven, to appoint a labor management, the, the labor management committee members. Dr. Co remember if you last meeting, we asked the superintendent and administration to um, come forward and, and help us fill those positions. So you have for us. So I uh, was given some names, I contacted them. Brenda Bailey has agreed to serve. She's a teacher on staff. And Brittany Sickles, who works in HR at Cambrex, has agreed to serve in addition to Director May Cumber and myself. Excellent. Is there a motion? I move to approve, uh, let's see, the Dr. Cox, of? Dr. Cox, Director May Cumber, Brenda Bailey, and what was her name? Brittany Sickles. Sickles. Brittany Sickles. Uh, to the Labor Management Committee, please. And I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to appoint the four people to the Labor Management Committee. Any other discussion? Roll call vote, please. Winnery? Yes. Brisby? Yes. Newcomer? Yes. Dyke? Yes. Motion carried four to zero. Agenda item eight is the Central Rivers AEA board election. And remember, this is the new name of the former AEA 267. I see they got their new signs up on their building this fall. They and do. Continue to make the transition. So the new web pages are up. Yeah, they continue to make progress as well. But we have a director that, director district two, which includes the Charles City District, that we need to has to vote for. And there's only one candidate currently on the ballot. Her name is Dr. Deborah Rich, and she resides in the Wapsie Valley Community School District. I move. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll make a motion to cast the Charles City ballot for Dr. Deborah Rich for Director District 2 of the Central Rivers AEA Board of Directors. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to cast the Charles City ballot for Dr. Deborah Rich. For the director, District 2, for Central Rivers AEA Board of Directors. Any other discussion? Roll call vote, please. Risby? Yes. Maycumber? Yes. Wintering? <coughs> yes. Dyke? Yes. Motion carried 4 to 0. Agenda item 9 the approval of middle school PBIS staff handbook for 1718. You have that in your packet. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions for administration? 
or comments? No. Um, Is there a motion? Only comments were I am really happy to see us moving in this direction no. for, uh, for, well, now we've seen it mm -hmm. from K through eighth grade. Um, a lot of the same four responsibilities that are, uh, or cornerstones that are evident throughout the district. Um, you know, the positive reinforcement of behavior. I really like this, uh, this direction that we're moving. I think it's more empowering and, and we're teaching kids mm -hmm. behavior. Um, I think it's gonna be a very good thing. Is there uh, anything that will be implemented for high school along these lines? We currently are just K-8 PBIX. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, that's, that's fine. I see the consisten consistency, you know, throughout the programs for elementary and middle school, and I think um, the kids that will start going through this, you know, as the years go on, it'll be a, a very good thing for our district. I'll make a motion to approve the middle school PBIS staff handbook as presented. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to approve the middle school PBIS staff handbook as presented. Any other discussion? Roll call vote, please. Meekumber? Yes. Wintering? Yes. Frisbee? Yes. Dyke? Yes. Motion carried 4 to 0. Agenda item 10 to approve the superintendent contract. You approved it earlier this summer and we have the document all put together and so it looks slightly different because of chapter 20 changes and we brought it to you tonight just so that you can see uh, what it is that you had approved. Uh, if you'll recall as well, uh, a year ago you approved a three-year contract for the superintendent so the only thing that's changed is the salary amount for this year. Everything else, uh, we've taken the new template and, and put it together into what you're seeing tonight. The one thing I mentioned to Terry before the meeting was um, I thought we were going to continue on with a three-year rolling contract, but this document <laughs> is only a two-year contract. I'll second that motion. <laughs> so, well, I can't make a motion, but I said, well, Nice try, Scott. <laughs> well, that, that didn't come up during the summer, and so okay. this just reflects what was discussed and approved on, I think it was June 27th. Ooh, I like how I just put it right back at you. Doesn't mean that we can't change it tonight via a motion, <laughs> if you so oh. desire. Oh. Well, 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 we're because we're actually <laughs> doing the approving an updated version of the contract, so. That would be my suggestion, but I can't make motions. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> no surprises. No. I'll make a motion to approve the updated version of the superintendent's contract as presented. I'll second that. Motion's been made and seconded to approve the superintendent's contract as presented. <laughs> Any other discussion? Roll call vote, please. Winery? Yes. Grisby? Yes. Yes. Dyke? Yes. Motion carried four to zero. Agenda item 11, the consent agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. And items as listed below. I will second it. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda. Roll call vote, please. Grisby? Yes. Grisby? Yes. Winery? Yes. Yes, motion carried four to zero. Agenda item 12, correspondence and miscellaneous. Uh, aside from the thank you notes that you received, uh, no other correspondence to share. Important upcoming dates, agenda item 13. A reminder that next Monday is Labor Day, so there's no school. Uh, classes resume on Tuesday. Uh, the next regular board meeting is on September 11th. And there's a board election September 12th. And then homecoming week is just around the corner, September 18th to the 22nd. Cool. Any other important dates anybody wants to mention? If not, we will adjourn. Thank you, everyone.